The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey is an American multi-mission tilt-rotor military aircraft with both vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, and short takeoff and landing STOL, capabilities. It is designed to combine the functionality of a conventional helicopter with the long-range, high-speed cruise performance of a turboprop aircraft. In 1980, the failure of Operation Eagle Claw during the Iran hostage crisis underscored that there were military roles for which neither conventional helicopters nor fixed-wing transport aircraft were well-suited. The United States Department of Defense DoD, initiated a program to develop an innovative transport aircraft with long-range, high-speed, and vertical takeoff capabilities. The Joint Service Vertical Takeoff Landing Experimental JVX, program officially commenced in 1981. A partnership between Bell Helicopter and Boeing Helicopters was awarded a development contract in 1983 for the V-22 Tiltrader aircraft. The Bell Boeing team jointly produces the aircraft. The V-22 first flew in 1989 and began flight testing and design alterations. The complexity and difficulties of being the first Tiltrader for military service led to many years of development. The United States Marine Corps USMC, began crew training for the MV-22B Osprey in 2000 and fielded it in 2007. It supplemented and then replaced their Boeing Vertol CH-46 e Knights. The US Air Force USAF, fielded their version of the Tiltrader, the CV-22B, in 2009. Since entering service with the Marine Corps and Air Force, the Osprey has been deployed in transportation and medevac operations over Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, and Kuwait. The US Navy plans to use the CMV-22B for carrier onboard delivery duties beginning in 2021. The failure of Operation Eagle Claw, the Iran hostage rescue mission, in 1980, demonstrated to the United States military a need for a new type of aircraft that could not only take off and land vertically, but also could carry combat troops and do so at speed. The US Department of Defense began the JVX aircraft program in 1981 under US Army leadership. The defining mission of the USMC has been to perform an amphibious landing. The service quickly became interested in the JVX program. Recognizing that a concentrated force was vulnerable to a single nuclear weapon, airborne solutions with good speed and range allowed for rapid dispersal, and their CH-46 e Knights were wearing out. Without replacement, the USMC and the Army merging was a lingering threat, akin to President Truman's proposal following World War II. The Office of the Secretary of Defense and Navy Administration opposed the Tiltrader project, but congressional pressure proved persuasive. The Navy and USMC were given the lead in 1983. The JVX combined requirements from the USMC, USAF, Army and Navy. A request for proposals was issued in December 1982 for preliminary design work. Interest was expressed by Air Spatial, Bell Helicopter, Boeing Vertol, Grumman, Lockheed, and Westland. Contractors were encouraged to form teams. Bell partnered with Boeing Vertol to submit a proposal for an enlarged version of the Bell XV-15 prototype on 17 February 1983. Being the only proposal received, a preliminary design contract was awarded on 26 April 1983. The JVX aircraft was designated V-22 Osprey on 15 January 1985. By that March, the first six prototypes were being produced, and Boeing Vertol was expanded to handle the workload. Work was split evenly between Bell and Boeing. Bell Helicopter manufactures and integrates the wing, nacelles, rotors, drive system, tail surfaces, and aft ramp, as well as integrates the Rolls-Royce engines, and performs final assembly. Boeing Helicopters manufactures and integrates the fuselage, cockpit, avionics, and flight controls. The USMC variant received the MV-22 designation, and the USAF variant received CV-22. This was reversed from normal procedure to prevent USMC Ospreys from having a conflicting CV designation with aircraft carriers. Full-scale development began in 1986. On 3 May 1986, Bell Boeing was awarded a US $1.7 billion contract for the V-22 by the US Navy. At this point, all four US military services had acquisition plans for the V-22. The first V-22 was publicly rolled out in May 1988. That year, the US Army left the program, citing a need to focus its budget on more immediate aviation programs. In 1989, the V-22 survived two separate Senate votes that could have resulted in cancellation. Despite the Senate's decision, the Department of Defense instructed the Navy not to spend more money on the V-22. As development cost projections greatly increased in 1988, Defense Secretary Dick Cheney tried to defend it from 1989 to 1992, but was overruled by Congress, which provided unrequested program funding. Multiple studies of alternatives found the V-22 provided more capability and effectiveness with similar operating costs. The Clinton administration was supportive of the V-22, helping it attain funding. The first of six prototypes first flew on 19 March 1989 in the helicopter mode and on 14 September 1989 in fixed wing mode. The third and fourth prototypes successfully completed the first sea trials on USS Wasp in December 1990. 
The fourth and fifth prototypes crashed in 1991-92. From October 1992 to April 1993, the V-22 was redesigned to reduce empty weight, simplify manufacture, and reduce build costs. It was designated V-22B flights resumed in June 1993, after safety changes were made to the prototypes. Bell Boeing received a contract for the Engineering Manufacturing Development EMD, phase in June 1994. The prototypes were also modified to resemble the V-22B standard. At this stage, testing focused on flight envelope expansion, measuring flight loads, and supporting the EMD redesign. Flight testing with the early V-22s continued into 1997. Flight testing of four full-scale development V-22s began at the Naval Air Warfare Test Center, Naval Air Station Patuxent River, Maryland. The first EMD flight took place on 5 February 1997. Testing soon fell behind schedule. The first of four low-rate initial production aircraft, ordered on 28 April 1997, was delivered on 27 May 1999. The second sea trials were completed on board USS Saipan in January 1999. During external load testing in April 1999, a V-22 transported the lightweight M777 Hoyser. In 2000, there were two fatal crashes, killing a total of 23 Marines, and the V-22 was again grounded, while the crash's causes were investigated, and various parts were redesigned. In June 2005, the V-22 completed its final operational evaluation, including long-range deployments, high-altitude, desert and shipboard operations, problems previously identified, but reportedly being resolved. U.S. Naval Air Systems Command, and AVAIR, worked on software upgrades to increase the maximum speed from 250 knots to 270 knots, increase helicopter mode altitude limit from 10,000 feet to 12,000 feet, and increase lift performance. By 2012, changes had been made to the hardware, software, and procedures, in response to hydraulic fires in the nacelles, vortex ring state control issues, and opposed landings, reliability has improved accordingly. An MV-22 landed and refueled on board Nimitz in an evaluation in October 2012. In 2013, cargo handling trials occurred on Harry S. Truman. In October 2015, an AVAIR tested rolling landings and takeoffs on a carrier, preparing for carrier onboard delivery. Does the President fly in an Osprey? For short trips in the air, the President uses a helicopter recognizable by its predominantly green body and white top. Decoy versions of Marine 1 often fly alongside the President's helicopter. It is also usually accompanied in the air by escort aircraft, including the Osprey MV-22 known as a green top. Is the Navy getting Ospreys? The first appearance of the new aircraft aboard a Navy aircraft carrier is the next milestone toward getting the CMV-22B into operational service. If everything goes as planned, the Navy's Osprey will become a fixture of the carrier air wing, just like its fixed-wing predecessor. Why the V-22 Osprey is unsafe? Despite its costs, the Osprey has earned a reputation for being dangerous and unreliable, in part thanks to the inherent challenges of its tilt-rotor design. In a testing period between 1991 and 2000, Ospreys crashed four times in non-combat operations, causing 30 fatalities. Is the V-22 Osprey armed? The V-22 can be armed with 17.62x51mm NATO, .308 in caliber, M240 machine gunner .50 in caliber, 12.7mm, M2 machine gun on the rear loading ramp. Can a civilian buy AV-22 Osprey? There is currently no certified civilian version of the V-22 Osprey. How many CV-22s does the Air Force have? The first operational CV-22 was delivered to Air Force Special Operations Command in January 2007. Initial operational capability was achieved in 2009. A total of 54 CV-22 aircraft are scheduled to be delivered by the end of 2021.